Good day, good day, royal fans. Today's headline. The memorial of Prince Philip was visibly a difficult event for the royal family. While serving as a moment of reflection on the legacy of the Duke, images of Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, and Charles, the Prince of Wales, at the service are proof of the heartbreak his death on April 9th last year brought to the firm. The Queen rallied to join close family, friends, foreign royals and hundreds of charity workers in remembrance of her beloved husband, the Duke of Edinburgh, at the Poent Memorial Service. Her composure at Westminster Abbey came at an important time within the firm, given the uncertainty that has in recent months surrounded Her Majesty's health. Tuesday's service of Thanksgiving was a much bigger event than Philip's funeral, with the Queen joining her heir, Prince Charles, his son William and wife Kate, and other members of the royal family, including their children. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall arrived at Westminster Abbey to the sound of bells ringing. Charles and Camilla followed tradition and greeted the Abbey's chapter, and a few minutes later the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge arrived with Prince George and Princess Charlotte. Television footage also showed the 95-year-old Queen using a walking stick, entering Westminster Abbey alongside her second son, Prince Andrew. The Queen arrived via a side entrance to the Abbey for her first appearance in public since falling ill. Prince Harry, who lives in the United States with his wife Meghan, did not attend the service following a disagreement with the government over security protection. The Queen, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Princess Royal were all dressed in dark green. It was seemingly a subtle tribute to Philip, whose livery colour was Edinburgh green. The monarch was reportedly determined to make the appearance at the deeply personal and significant occasion in honour of her strength and stay. Philip, with her attendance only confirmed on Tuesday morning. The Queen listened as the Dean of Windsor paid tribute to Philip's intellect, worth, ethic, sense of humour and devotion to his family. The Right Reverend David Connor described the Duke as a remarkable man who was committed to a host of down-to-earth enterprises. He pointed out that the Duke could be abrupt, suggesting that at times he could forget just how intimidating he could be. That's it for today guys. Thank you for watching today's royal content. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more and goodbye for now.